in example three, we have the distribution of, or the ethnic diversity um, of Ch the city of Chicago. And then we also have, as of their 2010 annual report, the Chicago Police Department demographic breakdown. So what we're interested in answering with this question using the chi-squared goodness of fit test is whether or not the demographics of Chicago are reflected by the police department or vice versa. Um, so in this case, what we're looking to see is are African Americans, whites, Hispanics, all other ethnicities equally reflected in the people who are hired to police and protect the city? And keep in mind, we could use the same idea for any sort of um, government positions. So if we're talking about the people who represent us in Congress at the state level, at the federal level, um, the people who represent us, do they reflect the diversity of the area that they're serving? So in order to test this claim, we'll test the following hypotheses, which are again going to be more or less identical to the hypotheses we've seen before, but for different types of questions, the language is stated maybe just a little bit differently. So in this case, our null hypothesis is that the distribution of police officers in Chicago matches the ethnic distribution of Chicago. And the alternative hypothesis that the distribution of police officers in Chicago does not match the ethnic distribution of the city. So again, coming back to that idea of our given variable matches the expected values, doesn't match the expected values or that expected distribution. Just changing that language slightly. So we'll select stat goodness of fit, and again, that chi-squared goodness of fit test. Our observed column, again, the way I have it entered here, is going to be variable 2, since that's the actual observed number of police officers of those different ethnicities. And then the percentages, again, will make up that expected distribution. And we get a p-value of less than 0 0.0001. which is clearly less than alpha, which in this case is 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis. So there's sufficient evidence to conclude that the demographics of the Chicago Police Department do not match the ethnic distribution of Chicago. So that is, the different ethnicities are not appropriately represented by the police force. Or there's different ways we could say that. But again, we're getting to the idea that the police force is not sort of a, a mirror image, at least in terms of that distribution, for the people they serve. Now, one thing to keep in mind and to point out with this type of test, with the goodness of fit test, you could call it a problem. It's not necessarily a problem, just a, maybe a limitation of the test, is that our conclusion here we're stating that the police force doesn't match that ethnic distribution, but the test doesn't tell us which group or which groups are significantly different, or let's say significantly, if I can spell that correctly, under or overrepresented. So anytime we're conducting a hypothesis test, it's about statistical significance. So it's not just the values are different, but that they're significantly different from what we would expect them to be. So the conclusion for this test, if we reject the null hypothesis, just tells us there is a difference. So in some senses, it's an unsatisfying conclusion because it doesn't tell us which group is under or overrepresented. We'd have to do some more investigation 
to come to an answer to that question. But for our purposes, what we're doing is just looking at coming to that general conclusion. The distributions match or don't match. We just want to keep in mind the idea that to perhaps get some more useful information, some more investigation, some more analysis would be required. In example four, we want to answer a similar question. From 2006 to 2010, Heartland Community College tracked a cohort of students to study their completion rates. So we again have the ethnic breakdown of people from McLean County. And then we have the number of people who were included in this Heartland study. So the hypotheses will be, again, similar in this case. Does the distribution of the Heartland Community College study match the distribution of McLean County? So the null hypothesis would be that it does. The alternative would be that there's some difference that they don't match. So in this case, the p-value would be zero, less than 0 0.001, which again would be less than our alpha value, which would be equal to 0 0.05. So we would reject the null hypothesis. So that would mean that the people involved in this study weren't appropriately reflective of the ethnic diversity of McLean County. So now we want to think about the idea of who should be studied in this study. That's a weird way to say that. But what group should this study actually reflect? So should the study reflect the diversity of McLean County? Because that's what we're trying to get at here, is basically a question about the validity of our study. Or in the previous example, if the police force maybe is um, using appropriate and inappropriate hiring practices. One conclusion doesn't necessarily mean that, but the things we want to look at. So should this study reflect the diversity of McLean County? This brings up questions as to what population we're actually considering. So instead, should this be compared? to the population of students at Heartland. So I'm throwing out the question just for you to think about, are we comparing this to the right group? An important question in statistics and sometimes a difficult question in statistics is making sure the right question is being asked and the right data is being used. So not everyone from McLean County goes to Heartland Community College. Not everybody who attends Heartland is from McLean County. We get people from the Chicago suburbs, other areas coming here because they plan to transfer to ISU, the U of I, something like that, some four-year school in the area. So we have, need to think a little bit about what initial distribution we should be looking at. Should we compare it to McLean County, just students at Heartland? Should we compare it to the entire distribution of Illinois, since we know we're getting people from across the state? So one of these things to keep in mind, anytime you're reading a statistical analysis or some decision that affects your life either personally or professionally is being decided based off some statistical procedure. Are they looking at the right information? Are they asking the right questions?